With just the tiniest adjustments, you can create some of the biggest improvements. Since its release, the Heritage Audio 19-inch Rack Synth EQ has pleasantly surprised every musician, sound designer, and engineer that it has crossed paths with. Making minimal changes to the frequency response of each channel can really bring your stereo mix to life, giving a whole new perception and sense of depth with just tiny tweaks. The mid-side mode takes things to another level altogether. You really need to test it out to understand how quickly and efficiently you can mold your mix. By thickening and giving weight to all of the material in the middle, you can solidify your tracks and steady the groove. While lightening up the information on the sides can extend the overall stereo image and provide more room for your mix to breathe. Each channel has the exact same controls to keep things simple. Beginning with high quality Class A high pass and low pass filters, you'll be able to immediately isolate the specific part of the signal you're interested in and avoid unnecessary frequency content that can eat up headroom and distract from what really is important. Then there are two bands, high and low, each with six selectable frequencies to choose from. These 12 frequencies have been very specifically decided on and offer the best and most practical frequency points that will provide the most impact. With up to 10.5 dBs of gain available to either boost or cut, you can hone in on the area that would most benefit the mix. These 10.5 dBs of gain are accessed in 1 dB stepped increments for exact processing. But there is a 0.5 dB button that will simply add an extra half dB to whatever setting you have on the gain knob, so providing even more precise control. Essentially letting you adjust the booster cuts from 0 to 10.5 dBs in half dB steps. The gain knob actually spans from 0 to 10 dBs in only one direction. So in order to achieve a cut, as opposed to a boost, you just hit the little white cut button. This makes locating the desired frequency area very easy as you can just push the dBs a bit and cycle through the frequency options. Find the area that needs treating, force it a little more to be sure, and then finally apply the cut feature to reduce those bothersome frequencies. There is also a plus or minus 12 dB screw allowing for any level compensation that might be necessary after processing to ensure a suitable output. Finally, it's worth mentioning that while the bypass feature will remove any EQ from the processing, the emulation of the input and output transformers will still, helpfully, be present unless the unit is turned off with the on button. This can come in handy if all you're after is a bit of that weight and coloring from the transformers themselves. Whether you're using the Symphy Q plugin in stereo, mid-side, or even on a mono signal, setting it up is actually a very quick process and provides excellent results as the EQ curves themselves are very gentle, and the use of parallel equalizing to obtain the desired response makes it have an exceptionally low phase deviation with minimal artifacts to produce a very organic and natural effect. Try out the Symph EQ today with our free trial, but be prepared to accept the fact that it will probably never leave your stereo bus again. Available now at Heritage Audio.